Emperor Shomu was the 45th emperor of Japan, according to the traditional order of succession. Shomu's reign spanned the years 724 through 749, during the Nara period. Before his ascension to the Chrysanthemum throne, his personal name is not clearly known, but he was known as Oshi Hiraki Toyosakura Hiko no Mikoto. Shomu was the son of Emperor Monmu and Fujiwara no Miyako, a daughter of Fujiwara no Fuito. Shomu had four empresses and six imperial sons and daughters. Shomu was still a child at the time of his father's death, thus, his grandmother, Empress Jemiai and aunt, Empress Gensho, occupied the throne before he acceded. Shomu continued to reside in the Hesiai Palace. Shomu is known as the first emperor whose consort was not born into the imperial household. His consort Komyo was a non-royal Fujiwara commoner. A Ritsuryo office was created for the queen consort, the Kagakshiki, and this bureaucratic innovation continued into the Heian period. Emperor Shomu's tour to the eastern provinces while battle maneuvers of the Fujiwara no Hirotsugu rebellion were still underway, in Tenpyo 12 10th. Month Emperor Shomu left the capital at Haijo Kyo and traveled eastward via Horikoshi, today Tsuj, 10th month. 29th day, November 22nd, Nibari, Adokawaguchi N. Ikishi district, Ai's province where he retreated together with his court to a temporary palace. One of his generals was left in command of the capital. Presumably Shomu feared Fujiwara supporters in Nara and was hoping to quell potential uprisings in other parts of the country with his presence. After four days traveling through heavy rain and thick mud, the party reached Kawaguchi on Tenpyo 12 11th month, second day a couple of days later, they learn of Hirotsugu's execution and that the rebellion had been quelled. Despite the good news, Shomu did not return to Haijo Kyo immediately, but stayed in Kawaguchi until Tenpyo 12 11th month, 11th day. He continued his journey east, then north via Minyo province and back west along the shores of Lake Biwatakuni in Yamashiro province which he reached on Tenpyo 12 12 month, 15th day. Places passed along the way included Akasaka, Asake district, Ishura, today Tato, 11th M. 25th D, December 18th, Tanji district, Fuwa, Yokokawa. Inakami, Gamo district, Yasu, today Yasu or. Moriyama, 12th M. 10th D, Jan 1, Awazu, Tamanoi. Situated among the hills and near a river north of Nara, Kuni was easily defensible. In addition, the area was linked with the minister of the right, Tachibana no Moro, while Nara was a center of the Fujiwara clan. On Tenpyo 12 12th month, 15 day Shomu proclaimed a new capital at Kunikyo. Todaiji Shomu, a devout Buddhist, is best remembered for commissioning, in 743, the 16-meter-high statue of the Virachana Buddha in Todaiji of Nara. At the time, this was such a massive undertaking that later chroniclers accuse him of having completely exhausted the country's reserves of bronze and precious metals. In 752, the Shomu held the eye-opening ceremony of the Great Buddha. Earlier in 741, he established the system of provincial temples, making this the closest anyone ever came to declaring Japan a Buddhist nation. In addition he commissioned the observance of the Ohigan holiday for both spring and autumnal equinox. Emperor Shomu died at age 56. Memorial Shinto Shrine and Mausoleum honoring Emperor Shomu The actual site of Shomu's grave is known. This emperor is traditionally venerated at a memorial Shinto shrine at Nara. The Imperial Household Agency designates this location as Shomu's mausoleum. It is formally named Sahoyama no Minami no Misasagi. The tomb site can be visited today in Harenji-cho, Tenri City near Nara City. The imperial tomb of Shomu's consort, Empress Komyo, is located nearby. The SHOSO Inn is the treasure house of Todaiji Temple in Nara, Japan. It houses about 9,000 artifacts connected to Emperor Shomu and Empress Komyo, as well as arts and crafts of the Tempio era of Japanese history. Its general importance derives from the fact, that it may be called an arc of Tang Dynasty period cultural relics from Japan as well as from the continent, furniture, games, music instruments, clothing slash accessories, weaponry, Buddhist objects and pieces of writing. See main entry. Kukyo is a collective term for the very few most powerful men attached to the court of the Emperor of Japan in pre-Meiji eras. In general, this elite group included only three to four men at a time. These were hereditary courtiers whose experience and background would have brought them to the pinnacle of a life's career. During Shomu's reign, this apex of the Daihokan included, the years of Shomu's reign are more specifically identified by more than one era name or Nengo. 
Japanese Imperial Kanon, a stylized chrysanthemum blossom media related to Emperor Shomo at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.